NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5000 Blackwell add-in board has been identified during the startup process at a manufacturing facility, believed to be operated by Zotac. A leaked video shared on the ChipHell platform displays the initial activation of what might be a the GeForce RTX 5090 AIB design, accompanied by positive reactions from factory workers. The footage showcases a newly established factory in Batam, Indonesia, likely set up to navigate recent U.S. export restrictions. This development suggests that the anticipated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 series, expected for release at the Consumer Electronics Show, is approaching its launch date, with add-in board designs expected to become available around the same time. The first GeForce RTX 5080 and 5090 graphics cards are expected to be available for purchase in January, while the RTX 5070 is expected to launch in February, and the RTX 5060 in March. The most important change compared to what we previously knew about the new top-of-the-line RTX 5090 model is an upgraded memory interface for a whopping 32 gigabytes of video memory which is now 512 bits wide instead of 448 bits. NVIDIA has also increased the number of shader units to an incredible 21,760. In fact, NVIDIA can equip the GB202-300-A1 graphics processor with 24,576 shader units in full expansion, but the full computing power of the Blackwell chip is probably reserved for professional cards which NVIDIA can sell at a significantly higher price point. The technical specs of the NVIDIA RTX 5090 promise a massive increase in performance compared to the already very fast RTX 4090, which is why we assume that the RTX 5090 will be an expensive graphics card. The RTX 4090 FE launched with an MSRP of $1,599, but is pretty much impossible to find at that price anymore. You're looking to spend upwards of $2,000 or more for an RTX 4090 these days, so there's no reason to expect the faster and better equipped RTX 5090 to debut with an MSRP below $2,000. Since NVIDIA has basically monopolized the graphics card market with a market share of 88% and is technically far ahead of their last remaining competitor in AMD, NVIDIA can virtually price the 5090 however they want. Prepare yourself for a hefty price increase, given that it's going to be the fastest graphics card in the world. Further examination of the video's description, translated from Chinese, reveals that the United States has imposed export controls on high-performance graphics card chips with capabilities equal to or exceeding the RTX 4090, restricting their export to mainland China. In response to these restrictions, Bo Neng, possibly a partner or subsidiary of NVIDIA, has established a manufacturing facility in Batam, Indonesia. This strategic move aims to mitigate the impact of export limitations on the RTX 5000's release. The video appears to document the debugging process of the production line, highlighting the NVIDIA RTX 5090 graphics card as it successfully powers up a monitor. Although the video quality is low, it provides early evidence of NVIDIA's efforts to ensure the RTX 5000's availability in the global market despite export challenges.